In this video, I'm gonna try to explain you what is composition in React. To explain you this, I'm gonna start by giving you an example what type of problem we're solving using composition. And then after that, we'll go over how it actually works. And finally, we'll actually use it to solve the problem. I have this very basic React project. Here, I'm gonna create a div. And for this div, we'll give it a class, green. And inside of this, I'm gonna make another div. And for that, we're gonna give it a class, red. And within this two, I'm gonna add an h1. I'm gonna say top box. And let's add uh, maybe a paragraph below this and say some text in top box. So below this, I'm gonna do another div. I'm gonna copy all of this and paste it. I'm just gonna change this inner part here. So here, instead of this, I'm gonna do an H3 and we'll just call it bottom box and maybe like that. And then maybe we'll add a button inside of this. So let's just do a couple of quick styles for this green, red classes. And for that, let's just add a file here. We'll just say styles.scss. And here I'm gonna basically style this green and red classes. So I'll do green. There's gonna be nothing special here. I'm just gonna do background color green and we'll add some padding so we can see this box. Otherwise, the other box is gonna cover it. And then below, we're gonna do the other one, which was, I believe, red, which is gonna be the same thing, except that this is gonna be red. That's it. So now let's just apply these. So I'll go here and I'll just import that file. Let's just save this really quickly and take a look. So we got two boxes. Let me just add a border. So we got two boxes on top of each other. So the thing I want you to pay attention to is that when you look at these boxes, this outer part of these boxes is the same. So we have this outer portion that is the same for both of these. And then we have this inner part that is the part that's different between these two boxes. Now, if I need to change this outer portion in some way, let's say I need to add an additional class to this outer portion or change this name from green to some other name. Then now I'm forced to go here, change it here, and also change it here. Or maybe I want to have an additional box here in the middle, because for some stylistic reason, we decided we're gonna need that. And I'm gonna put that here in the middle, and this will be purple box. And again, I'll have to do all of this now all over again for this one. And at this point, we'll just go and style that purple box. And again, we'll just keep it simple and call it purple. So at this point, we should have three boxes. So the point I'm trying to make is that anytime I have to do some sort of change to this outside enclosure that I'm using around this, I have to do this for this and then write all of that same code here as well. And you may have a situation where you need to use that same enclosure maybe in 100 different places in your application. So how can we improve this so that we only have to do this once? And that's the problem we're gonna solve using composition. Now, before we get to solving this problem, 
we need to really get back to JSX and understand how exactly JSX works. So for that reason, let me actually create a component and I'll do that in a separate file. I'm gonna call this one box.js. And again, component is just a function which is gonna return some sort of JSX. And let's just export this. And I don't really think we need to import React here anymore for JSX in this newer version of Parcel, but I'll do it anyways. So now let's basically just import this here. And then we can render that someplace in here. Let me just comment all this code. For now, we'll get back to it in a second. And let's just render that box. So if I go back and look at this, we got our box. So now let's get back to something we have learned about JSX is that this is basically nothing else other than just calling that function named box, right? And usually when we go here and do some sort of properties on this, what this is, it's similar to passing an object here. And that object is gonna have the property text and the text is gonna be hello. So this is this and this object here is what we call props and now we can work with it, right? So I did talk about this in depth so you can watch my first videos to learn more about this. There is one more interesting thing about this. We can actually do this react call like this. Instead of having that self-closing container, we can have opening and closing of this box. And this should also now render that same thing. See, it works just fine. Now for a second now, I'm gonna go back here and let's just add a console log and get those props. So if I save this, if we go back and reload this and open our console to take a look, you'll see I got an object and it's an empty object. Now let's go add some property. So if I go back here and we add some property, just like I was saying a second ago, I save this, I go back and look, this console, see now that props is that object with a property text that's hello. Now all of this I've already covered. What I didn't cover is that now because we're doing this container type with opening and closing, I can go inside of this and type some text here. I'm just gonna say inner text. And if I save this and we go back and look inside of this, you'll see that in addition to this text property, now we have this children property, which is gonna have that inner text. So if we add anything here, we end up getting that as children property on that object automatically. Now, in this case, it's just text. So when we look at our console log, it's just text like you would expect. Now, if I go back here and we change this to an H1 element, we go back and take a look. You'll see that children, if I open that, is here and it's an object too. And if you look what type of object it is, it says here, type of react element. So that's a react element. So at this point, that children is this H1. So let's add one more thing here. Save this 
and go back and take a look again. So now you can see that that children is an array and it's basically two React elements. We got that H1 and we got that paragraph. So we can basically use that inner part inside of the element to set that children property. So now that means we can basically use that. And those are, if you remember, just React elements. And since these are React elements, that props.children at this point, what we could do, we could use them right here. So I can just go here and we can literally just say props.children. Why? Because it's an array of React elements. Similar to the fact that you could do something like this and then put your multiple React elements here, that's the same thing. Then I could just render those elements here. Now, in this case, we're just gonna render that props.children. Let's spell it correctly, which in turn is gonna be basically these. So now if I go back, take a look, you'll see those render on our page. So this is exactly what we're gonna use to solve our problem. So now what we can do, I can go back here. Let me actually uncomment this. And here our outer part that we use here, that's the same for both is these three lines. I'm gonna copy that, go to the box and have it up here. Let's just align that. And then let's just go grab the closing parts of all of that. Let me just tap this in. So the closing three divs for this would be that. I'm gonna copy that and paste it right there. So these are those three divs. It appears we have an extra div here somehow. Let me get rid of that. So again, we got that first green one, then we got the purple one, and then we got the red one. And now what we can do, we can render these children inside of that. So I'm gonna save that, which means at this point, now I can go back and instead of doing what I did here, I can just grab these two, put them here, and we don't really need to pass this hello you could pass those and use them as well, but right now we don't need them. And I'm gonna do another box. So I'm gonna reuse that component I've just created. And for this one, I'm gonna pass these. And at this point, we can get rid of all of this stuff. And this is gonna be our new code. And with this setup, at any point, we need to make changes to this box, which is the same as this box. We can just go up here and do any changes right there. And it will affect all of them. Now, let's just make sure all of this works. So if I save it, go back, we'll get our boxes, green, purple, red. And then we got these two elements here and these three elements here. And that's React Composition. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.